Hey guys, this is Paul. I've been hearing a lot of uh, people talking about error messages with Windows Defender on Windows 7 and Windows 8. Uh, a lot of them are having uh, error messages that they can't turn it on uh, and they've tried several things to get it to turn on. So I've decided to put together a video and see if I can help you with that. now. Uh, keep in mind I am paralyzed, but I'm going to do my best to make this video so that it can help someone uh, resolve this issue. Let's go to the control panel first thing. And I'll, I've uh, simulated uh, some uh, problems on my Windows 7 so that I can't turn it on. But I've went in and I've turned uh, several things off. Uh, trying to make it uh, give the messages that I that uh, you're receiving. So, on uh, in the control panel, click on Windows Defender. And most of the time in Windows 8, you won't see this window. Uh, it will be an error message instead. But on Windows 7, you'll see this message. Uh, if the service has been turned off or it's by group policy uh, or if there's some other error. Uh, now most of the time on Windows 8 you'll see this message an error 577 and I'll show you how to fix that and also show you how to fix uh, other errors like uh, Give me just a moment here. Let me put this down. As if you did have this in Windows 7 and you clicked mm -hmm. on it, you'll get this error code 0x8007042. And I'll show you how to fix this error also. Uh, by fixing most of the other errors, we'll also fix these. So let's go ahead and uh, in uh, the run position, let's just go ahead, let me just put this down and go to my start menu and write run. Now this is in Windows 7 uh, or you can push uh, the Windows icon or uh, key and R which will bring up run. But in this case, we're just going to type it in and hit enter. And here it is right here. So we just click on it. And as you can see in there, I've got gpedit.msc. And then we just click on that. And that will take us into this window here which is actually the uh, group policy which is for this air I'm sorry not that one let me get that one pulled up here okay well anyway when it says that uh, uh, group policy settings have stopped you from uh, uh, turning Windows Defender on uh, you want to go to this window which is the group policy which is what we typed in the run and over to the left hand side you'll see administrator and you click on that and it's administrator templates what it is then over in the middle window you will click on Windows Component two times. Just real quick, click on it. If that's how you have your computer set. <clears throat> Excuse me. And if you scroll down till you find Windows Defender, and double click it. You'll see here where you're allowed to turn it on and off. Well, mine is off in this case. So, what we want to do is we want to double click that. 
and bring up this little box and hit enable right there in the middle box and that will turn on your Windows Defender so apply that and click your OK and then also you want real-time protection so you would also click the next one below it twice and enable it because if you don't have any other antivirus software uh, Windows will automatically make this your antivirus software but if you do have any other antivirus software some of them are uh, they w they're not compatible they'll uh, create a conflict and you'll have to take out that particular antivirus software in order to get this to come on uh, but in this case I have Malwarebytes and several other uh, uh, antivirus softwares on but it's not creating any problem with mine the way I have it set up so anyway we're, we've got these turned on now and now what we want to do is we want to put this down don't even close it out that way you'll have it so if you have to go back to it and then we want to go to the control panel again click on the control panel and go to action and then we want to go up here to security and check to see if our antivirus needs turned on and right there we'll turn on the antivirus on Windows 7 now on Windows 8 uh, you'll have basically the same principle you'll just have to go in and, and there'll be a little button on the side uh, that you will click and turn on but I'm not going to turn that on uh, this time we're going to go ahead and leave that off and we're going to bring the control panel back up and we're going to go back down and we're going to click on Windows Defender there's that message uh, it's turned off this program is turned off even though I've turned on all the other uh, ones except for the action center and the service center and so forth it still will not come on so a lot of times you'll get this message when you do this this is actually a different window that pops up uh, and they tell you to click on this link to turn it on well most of the time it will not turn it on and it will give you a group policy uh, error message and also an error code now the reason for that is is because you do not have the service turned on so if you go back we'll close all this out we'll go back to the action center and we'll go up here to change action center and we'll put a check in the virus protection and the spyware and related protection and click OK now that may or may not do it so let's just check may have to go another place to turn it on completely okay we still got the same window now the next place we want to go is going to be the administrative tools which is right up here across from the action center in your control panel click on that and let's open it up and we'll go to services and once we go to services I just highlight one of these so that you can move down if you're using your roller and find Windows Defender
Okay. Looks like we found it here somewhere. I saw it for a second. Just bear with me. There it is. Okay, now if we will highlight that. We will highlight that. We'll see this is disabled right over here. We'll highlight that, right click, go to properties, and we'll change this uh, for your Windows Defender property, local computer window, change it to automatically, automatic or automatic delay start. We'll put it to automatic. We'll apply it and click OK. Now we have automatic. Now, it's still yet not started. Right here you'll see the word start. So we'll go up here and we'll click this while that's highlighted and it will turn it on. Okay, Windows Defender Services on local computer started and then stopped. Some services stop automatically if they are not in use by other services or programs. Okay, so now what we want to do is close that out and go back to our control panel. And we still have something else that's stopping us. And so I've done a real good job on simulating this. Now I have to go and find the problem myself why it isn't working. Okay? So let's start with part of what I've already showed you. And let's go back and write run and we'll go back into the GP edit uh, MSC and find out if for some reason this service did not come on okay we click on the template administrative template we click on this we find Windows Defender If I don't pass it, and it's right there. Let's double click, and let's. Whoops. Let me go up here. I'm on the wrong one. Double click on this. And mine. Mine is actually set uh, because mine is not uh, in the policy or anything. So that would be why mine would do this because I enabled it, but I've got other programs running. Like I said, I've got malware, I've got others. So I would put not configured and that will actually turn it on right now instead of on demand and we need to also do this one because I don't have mine configured to automatically be the main uh, primary antivirus software and we click this one now we close this out and hope for the best. And here we go. And now we have the window up. It's turned on and ready to scan. I can scan at any time. Running now. And that's the easiest way to find out what your problem is of why you're getting those error messages and I hope this video helps someone and I apologize for the pauses and and uh, the different things that went on during this video that uh, 
was an interruption, but I hope it helps. Thanks.